Hey everybody, are you worried that if you go to physical therapy that you're going to be told you have to stop doing the activity that you love? You know, maybe you love to run or you love to play pickleball or you love to go to exercise class and you're afraid that if you go to physical therapy they're going to say, oh, no more, you can't do it anymore. Well, uh, today's video is for you if that's the case. Um, I'm Cody Barnett with Body Works Physical Therapy and Concussion Center and I'm joined today by my friend Angela who's been through this and is going to share her experiences with you. So Angela, um, fill us in and tell us, you know, we've worked, worked on a couple of different things with you over mm -hmm. the years. Um, and so maybe just tell everybody a little bit about what your experience has been and, you know, what we've had to work on and um, kind of give your history of it. Okay. I needed a little bit of help a few years ago with my shoulder and got over the hump with that and was still able to do everything I wanted to do. I got to go to all my classes and every time I went I could moved my shoulder just a little bit more and got to where I needed to be, but um, then a few months ago is when I came to you with a little bit bigger challenge mm -hmm. with my knee, and not only could I not really go to my exercise classes, but even just going up and down the stairs became a challenge. Right. And the first day I remember you saying, no squats, no lunges, no stairs, no standing up in the cycle class, no going fast, well that's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything I do, especially in a two-story house, so right. um, you quickly reminded me those were just a few of my don'ts. I had a lot of do's mm -hmm. <laughs> that I could do. That exercise class was just a couple minutes of squats, and I just, I'm kind of used to modifying from my other injury, so I mm -hmm. knew that was something I could do, and with your guidance and also the instructors at the YMCA, I, I still could do everything I wanted to do. It's I, it's just my place. It's how I start my morning. Yeah. <laughs> and I was not willing to, to give that up. So, um, for everybody listening, um, you were we even though you just listed off those things we had to limit you on in order yes. to get your knee better, but we also said, okay, I want you going to class. I just well, we just gave some boundaries and said, okay, well we're gonna we're gonna modify these things, but there's all these things you can still do. Oh, yes, yes, right? yes, yes. yes. Yeah. It took me a few seconds to absorb that, but yes, I went and I did everything I wanted to do. I will say my first few weeks of cycle class, I was just on the bike, barely moving at all, mm -hmm. but I was there where I wanted to be, and I mm -hmm. um, I took the elevator a few times to, mm -hmm. to get up there and uh, because I knew I needed to save my knee for my mm -hmm. steps in my house, right. but I... I don't get bothered at all going to exercise classes and doing what's best for me mm -hmm. it, because I'm there. I'm happy to be there and glad that I can be there. Yep. And through all the modifications, I'm now back almost to where I was before. So, so those modifications are really just a, a little stepping stone. And every time I came here, I got instructions on the you know, new steps I could take to get back to where I was before. And, and you're back to squats, you're back to lunges. Yes. You're back to full cycle class. It's entirely the way I used to do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. she's back to everything, just so everybody knows. She's doing, yeah. she's doing great. She's killing it. Um, and so um, in terms of uh, the class, you, min you mentioned something to me earlier, though, that's really critical to that, is it's not just the exercise class. You also mentioned that you were missing out on the community. Oh, exactly. When you told me I couldn't, you know, all those, the few things, my heart just broke. I, I told you, I said, I can't give up the why. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I can't. I, can, I could give up the, the exercise part, but I needed the, the community, mm -hmm. the friendship, the emotional support. That's what I couldn't give up. And, yeah. I didn't have to. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so that's an important thing is that like we want to keep runners running. We want to keep yes. pickleballs, pickleball players pickleballing. We want to keep um, exercises, exercisers going to class. Sometimes we have to restrict things a little bit as far as what you can do, mm -hmm. but it's really important that like, it, like we want to keep people mobile and active. We want to keep people doing the things that you love mm -hmm. as much as we can. Um, and, uh, but we, you know, within the confines of, we've still got to get over the injury, you know what I mean? Yes. And so with the idea of it being kind of a stair step where we can, a stair step progress process where we gradually progress 
and do more and more activity and get you back to doing the, the, the previous level that you were doing before. That's exactly how it went. Yeah. yeah step yeah. by step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. So, um, and then one of the things that I, I love about Angela and, and why and, and I invited her to chat with us today is that um, she's somebody that is a big go-getter. Like, she's not willing to, you know, just accept an injury and, and she wants to stay active and wants to work out and wants to go to the gym and, um, you know, all of those things to stay fit and is, and is a big encouragement to us here when she comes in because she's always got a smile on her face and she's always um, happy, you know, happy to go to work and, and, and yeah. uh, we enjoy that about her too. So, um, so Angela, um, thank you for sharing your story. Of course. Um, you're going to impact a lot of other people that you'll never meet. Um, I hope so. Pe pe people that are struggling. And if you're struggling, um, you've got uh, knee pain, back pain, shoulder pain, etc., cetera, um, then uh, feel free to re reach out to us. We're at bodyworksphysicaltherapy.net, our phone 316-558-8808. And certainly uh, we have lots of free resources on our website in terms of eBooks you can download, um, blog posts, videos, etc. cetera. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Um, Angela, thank you. You bet. And until next time, we'll see you later.